good morning. So glad you joined us again today and I hope this will do you good as we spend these few moments in 1 Peter. We're in chapter 3 and in just a moment we'll get going at around about verse 15. So uh, you might want to find your way there if you've got a Bible while we pray. Lord, oh thank you. We, don't, we never come to the end of your, the richness of your word, the richness of your uh, the ways that you want to speak to us and guide us and help us and Lord we're here because we we want to walk close to you we want to please you in every aspect of our lives and so here we are to spend a few moments with our before your word Bible's open for you to speak to us please come Holy Spirit and help us I pray in Jesus name Amen okay well we ended up with verse 15 um, the, the context, by, by the way, here is, is, uh, is, is, is implications of being a follower of Jesus in, in, in life, in marriage, in, in life in general, our conversations, in church family, the implications that we were seeing yesterday about being like-minded and, uh, and, and loving one another and so on. And uh, uh, now in verse 50, in your, speaking about our reactions that can so often let us down we can not be wise in our reactions at times we get carried away in your hearts revere christ as lord what a wonderful sentence that is he's lord of our it, it, our lives and it's a, it really means we, we entrust everything to him lord you know i trust you you're lord of my life and you're lord of the circumstances around me i trust in you i'm not going to fight back i'm not going to try and get my own way here I'm going to revere you as Lord, oh, and in so doing, I trust, please you. Okay, and and of course, the witness of our behaviour will become apparent. Will have an effect. People around us. That's what a lot of this passage has been about. People will see your good works and and glorify your Father in heaven. And so, Peter's concerned that our lives will bear testimony to who we belong to. But it's not just in our behaviour, it, it goes further than that, our witness. So let's have a look now. In your hearts revere Christ as Lord. Always be prepared to give an answer to everyone who asks you to give reason for the hope that you have. I love that. That's great, isn't it? Why are you different? Why aren't you all up tight? Why aren't you fearful about your future because of the hope that I have I can't resist mentioning the, the book I've just written it's just been released I think this week hope wins and it's so important in these fearful days when people are confused and and uh, and fearful and uncertain about their lives and insecure we as followers of Jesus don't have to be like that in fact it's important that we're not like that that we we are clear about the hope that is in us that the hope that we have uh, our future uh, and it, 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 it's beautiful it's wonderful the calling that we have on our lives and it, it should be making a difference to our lives why are you different uh, you know what a compliment for people to say to, to say that to us why are you different why aren't you fearful why aren't you anxious about it's this wonderful hope that i have in the lord jesus my future with him um so yeah uh, I, i've said a lot about it in 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 the book of course and that helps us through difficult circumstances it helps it it it, it, it galvanizes us when we walk through difficult circumstances and painful circumstances oh god my confidence is in you my hope is in you and it's precious okay in your hearts, revere Christ as Lord. Always be prepared to give an answer to everyone who asks you to give reason for the hope that you have. Do, but do this with gentleness and respect. We want, to, we want our witness to be gracious and, and not clumsy. Keeping a clear conscience so that those who speak maliciously against your good your good behaviour in Christ may be ashamed of their slander. So don't get caught up in the, the whirlwind when others are getting all agitated and uptight, when things are getting into an argument rather than a discussion. 
probably a warning there to back down a bit, not to get into a, a heated, uh, unhelpful discussion. So let be keeping a clear conscience, speak, um, uh, do, do it with gentleness and respect. Verse 15, keeping a clear conscience so that those who speak maliciously against your good, good behaviour in Christ may be ashamed of their slander. For it is better, if it is God's will, to suffer for doing good than for doing evil. So there again, this theme of we're following Jesus. And therefore, that it's far better for us to entrust situations to him, not to react out of our own angst and anger. Remember, Jesus entrusted himself to the Father. We're called to entrust ourselves to him. Lord, you, your kingdom come, your will be done. And, and that's what we're called to do. We're called, we're called to entrust ourselves to him. Um, okay, so um, better, um, verse 18. For Christ also suffered once for sins, the righteous for the un unrighteous, to bring us, to bring you to God. Isn't that beautiful? Um, his suffering brought, it was to bring you to God. He was put to death in the body, but made alive in the spirit. This is, isn't this lovely? This is where our, our real life and hope is um, it's, it, I, I can't get away from this phrase here. Christ suffered once for, for sins, the righteous for the unrighteous, to bring you and me to God. To bring you close, to bring me close, to make us righteous, to bring us close. We don't want to lose that fellowship with the Father. He was put to death in the body, but made alive in the spirit. And sometimes we will go through difficult circumstances and uh, suffer. Not, not obviously. It's not comparable to Christ. It's not. It, it, we're not earning our salvation here. It, it's not salvation by works. It's it's following in His footsteps. He is the one who's brought us to God. But we want to imitate Him and live for His glory. Um, it's. Uh, I think I'm going to stop there and uh, take a bit more time on the next verse when we come to that next. But just let's stop here this morning. We're going to stop here this morning. Cry. It's, it's better, but we're going back to verse 17. It's better if it's God's will to suffer for doing good than for doing evil in our witness, in making Christ known. Christ suffered once for the sins, the righteous for the unrighteous, to bring us to God. He was put to death in the body made alive in the spirit and Lord I pray that our witness would be uh, ready and fruitful wherever we go today Lord Jesus thank you that you've brought us near Lord, thank you Lord Jesus that path of suffering has brought us near and and near to you and Lord we want to live in that place close to you we want to be your witnesses we want to speak of you we want our lives to witness to you and Lord, I pray, help us in our witness. Help us, Lord, to find boldness. Those of us who need to find a bit more courage and boldness, help us to, to, to find it, to pick up those opportunities as they arise to, to speak of you, to, uh, to, to, to pray for people, to, to acknowledge that we're Christians, that we follow you, that you are the centre of our lives. So please give us courage and wisdom that our witness would be pleasing to you and effective to those around us even if it draws strange responses at times lord i pray that you'll help us to live for your glory wherever we're going today i pray in jesus name well god bless uh, very practical words aren't they very uh yeah there's, it doesn't pull his punches he's real, real meat for us to chew on as we go about our day today. God bless, have a good day, and see you next time. Bye now.